Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Rio's How To, which is how to make a single-handed spade cast. Something I absolutely love doing and something really invaluable to you as an angler, even a trout angler. And I say that because an awful lot of people think that spay casting is only with these giant two-handed sticks. And that's where it came from. Salmon angling in Scotland on a river called the spay back in the 1800s. Big sticks, da-di-da. I don't need it because I'm a trout angler. Well, that's such a terrible thought process and attitude because every angler, every fly angler will find a spot where there's a tree behind them. And maybe you can do a roll cast and that gets you out of a situation, but a spade cast is so much more dynamic and energetic than that and better. So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at how to make a spade cast with a single handed rod. This is just a nine foot five weight. That's fine, that's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly what I like to use. And on the front end of that, probably about the easiest spay casting line you can have for a one-handed rod. And it's just called an in-touch single-handed spay line that we make at Rio. And it's perfect for that because all the weight is at the back. And that is really important in a spay line. So really that's the gear. That's the little prelude into it. Let's see how easy it is and why you make a single-handed spay cast. Okay, let us see what single-handed spay casting is. First of all, get a roll cast right. And that is one of the most important things about spade casting. If you've got a good roll cast, you're going to be 75 to 80% of the way into making a good spade cast. And if you have not seen the Rio episode on how to make a roll cast, stop right now and go and watch that and then come back. Because there's a bit of terminology that I'm going to be using that really, really relates to that video. And I don't want to go over it all again. So check out how to make a roll cast and then come back and press play and continue on here. Let's say you have now. So, what is the difference between a single-handed spay cast and a roll cast? Well, there are two differences. First one is what are called the D-loop and the difference in the D-loop. There's a D-loop behind you, and a roll cast has a very small D-loop. It's not far behind me. And it's also passive and dead. It's a lump of line just hanging from the rod. That's what makes my rod bend when I go forward. That's my load. So when the small load, I go forward, it's not very effective. A spay cast, every spay cast, has a much bigger D-loop. And a bigger D-loop means there's more weight, which is more load, which means the rod flexes more, which is a much more efficient cast. Let me just show you two casts. A roll cast with a small D-loop, it goes out okay. And a spay cast, this is called a switch, with a much bigger D-loop. See how much bigger that D-loop is? It goes much further behind me. And if it goes further behind me, there's more weight, the rod loads better, da-di-da. So these are much more efficient casts, the spay cast. And the second reason you do a spay cast with a roll cast is a roll cast cannot change direction efficiently. So a downside with a roll cast is you have to make a forward stroke parallel and close to the train track. If your train track is here, you have to go there. All right, so if your train track is here and the fish is over there and you try and make a roll cast over here, it doesn't work because you can't change direction with a roll cast. So with a spay cast, is simply a way to move your train track to where you want to go. Let's show you. I'm going to show you something really just crazy. My line's down here and a fish is rising over there. Let me just do something like this. Drop. Look where my line is. It's a completely different position. My train track is now facing here. I can make my roll cast there. So the simplest way to look at a spay cast is you move your train track to where you want to go. The last part of the spay cast that makes it better than roll cast is how much fly line's on the water when you go forward. So when I go forward with this roll cast, I've got about 15 feet of fly line lying on the water. The line is gripped by the surface film, and that's not very good. On the switch cast, you'll notice when I keep going with this switch cast, there's about a foot of fly line on the water. The leader's on the water, but just a foot of fly line. Like that. You see how little fly line's touching the water? Not only is the D-loop bigger, but the amount of fly line on the water is way less. And that is a thumbs up. That's great because the line on the water is drag. All the energy you put into the cast is sucked out 
by the water surface film. So you want to avoid it. So those are the two differences between your roll cast and your spay cast. And I'm going to show you some very, very basic spay casting techniques. I'm not going to show you all the spay casts. I'm just going to show you some basic spay techniques to give you an idea of what a spay cast is. And the simplest way of looking at it is to imagine you're at a train station and you're on a train that's going to London. See, for example, right now, my line is down here and this is pointing down there. So making my roll cast, I go to London. But I want to go to Paris, which is over here. So all you have to do is do something to move your train track so it's facing Paris. And then finish off following your forward stroke along your new train track. Okay, so that's the simplicity of spade casting. It is some way to move the train track. As you get into it, you'll find that spade casts become much more dynamic, as I mentioned, but also they have certain names. And I'm, this video isn't about all the spade casts, how to make a double spay, a snake roll. I'm gonna show you a couple. This is a cast called a double spay. This is a cast called a reverse snake roll. Here's a cast called a snake roll. Now, and these are just cast, this is a cast called a snap T. So there's lots of names. This video is not about those spay casts. This is the, the rawest, basic way of learning a spay cast. So really that's all that spay casting is. Spay casting is simply a, an advanced form of roll cast that changes direction. Absolutely you can do it one-handed rods because you're gonna have trees behind you. And even if you don't have trees behind you, it is the most efficient way to change direction. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you picked up a few nuggets and a few tips. If you enjoyed this and if you haven't seen them, we have a whole series of these how-to videos on the Rio website under Rio TV. Check it out. Check out some of the other videos. Learn some stuff. And if you enjoyed this, get out on the water and do some of these single-handed spay casts. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Maybe one day I'll see you on the water throwing some beautiful snake rolls and catching some fish with it.